One week ago, Canada announced the addition of 13 countries to its electronic travel authorization program for eligible travelers. Five of those countries are among Grenada's closest neighbors, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia and Trinidad and Tobago. However, Grenada was not on the list, a fact that prompted many nationals to clamor for answers. But the response they seek won't come from the Grenadian leader. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell June Gibbons Beyond the Headlines Monday night said his government will continue to lobby its Canadian counterpart to reinstate visa-free access or electronic travel authorization for Grenadians wishing to travel to the Commonwealth country. I would prefer not to say why the Canadians did what they did. I think it's really for the Canadians to, to speak to that, and I am not going to speculate, right? Um, uh, thirdly, uh, no, it is not because of Grenadians. I can, I can say this certainly. Uh, well, first of all, our CBI program, at least uh, since we've been in office, um, has not been mismanaged, and, and it is not because of that. According to the Prime Minister, government is confident that whenever Canada's visa waiver list is next reviewed, there ought not to be any reasons why Grenada should not be included. In the interim, the Canadians have pledged a commitment to having more frequent visits to get the biometrics because that's one of the, the, the main concerns. It's not so much that you have to get a visa, but the fact that there is no visa processing centre in Grenada and there is in St. Vincent's, in Lucia, Trinidad, for example, mm -hmm. and you have to take a plane and go to one of these places, incur the costs, the hotel, etc., just to get the biometrics done. Mm -hmm. um, so we certainly will continue working with our Canadian partners um, to address whatever issues they may have. Interestingly, less than 24 hours after revealing the list of new visa-exempt countries, Canadian High Commissioner to Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, Lillian Chatterjee, announced that Grenada and Dominica will be listed in the CanPlus program, which facilitates expedited visitors' visa processing for people who had Canadian visas within the last 10 years or currently in possession of a valid U.S. visa. Grenada was removed from the list of countries with visa-free access to Canada in December of 2001. The Prime Minister spoke about the luxury Grenadians had with visa-free travel to Canada and the reasons he believes that changed. The fact that Grenada once had the visa waiver requirement mm -hmm. and why uh, subsequently it was imposed. And it is the former administration's complete mishandling of the offshore sector which was a complete and utter disaster that created the situation. And Grenadians have regrettably had to live with this uh, at significant cost and inconvenience over the last several 15 or, or, or more years. GBN reached out to former Foreign Affairs Minister Peter David and he has promised to respond to the statement. We will bring that response when it becomes available. Cherry and Blackburn, Stephen, GBN News.